Hello and welcome back to Bike Matters. Now, with Eichmer well underway, we've been treated to more than a few new models, including this rather special one from Italian manufacturer Moto Guzzi, the V100 Mandello. Celebrating their 100 year anniversary in style, this new roadster combines very modern design with those typical Moto Guzzi classics, including a sideways mounted V twin. We've got everything you need to know about Guzzi's latest offering, so stick around to find out more. So, kicking things off with that V-Twin and what a centerpiece it is. In fact, it's a whole new twin-cylinder, eight-valve, double overhead cam, liquid-cooled engine built by Moto Guzzi. When it comes down to those all-important numbers, I don't think the V100 will disappoint, as at your disposal is 115 brake horsepower and 105 newton meters of torque. Now, I really like the look of this bike. It's classic in style and dances the line between a classic Guzzi and a contemporary roadster. Just glimpsing at it with its gold detailing, including that legendary and unchanged Eagle badge, front suspension and wheel rims, you can tell it's something special. I'd even go as far as saying that it dazzles. Let us know in the comments what you think of the design. Being as compact and manageable as a roadster, but with the comfort and protection of a Tora, the V100 Mandelo branches into two segments of the market and plays a couple of roles. These are reflected in its Tora styled wide front fairing, windscreen, muscular fuel tank and upright seating position. Spreading their wings and flying high, the V100 Mandelo is the first motorcycle in the world to incorporate what Moto Guzzi are calling active aerodynamics. Breaking it down, it means this system will control the position of the deflectors on either side of the 17.5 litre fuel tank with the speed and chosen riding mode. This is all to deliver comfort and protection from the air, hence why they say it falls into the Sport Tora category of the market. The V100 Mandela will offer an upright riding position that's also active and relaxed, made even more luxurious by its aluminium handlebars with variable sections and roomy seat. When you hop on the V100 Mandelo, you'll not only have the tools for a dynamic and sporty ride, but it'll be a comfortable one too. Moto Guzzi claim the sporty feeling of the V100 Mandelo comes from its brilliant handling, outstanding stability on motorways, and compact, manageable frame that never fails to deliver thrills on bends. From my point of view, the styling of the V100 gives a great mix of Roadster and Tora, and should really appeal to many riders out there. Throw in those unique Guzzi looks, and it's guaranteed to turn heads. When it comes to tech, the standout features are the 5 inch colour TFT screen and full LED lighting that comes with a couple of extras, including DRL and nifty bending lights that, as the name suggests, improve visibility around bends. Further features include a ride by wire electronic throttle, four riding modes, and cruise control. The inclusion of all this helps to bring the brand right up to date as they enter their second century on the market. Onto brakes and suspension, and staying fairly vague, Moto Guzzi have disclosed that the V100 will feature semi-active suspension and ABS cornering. Now from what I can spy from the photos and videos released so far, we can spot some meaty gold upside down forks at the front and what looks like a monoshock to the rear. There also looks to be two large twin disc brakes at the front with Brembo calipers and a single disc on the rear again with a Brembo caliper. At this moment in time, we're not really too sure on the price or the release date of the V100 Mandelo. We're thinking that because of everything it includes, it'll sit higher in the price bracket, but at this time, we can't confirm or deny if our suspicions will be true. However, they do say that good things come to those who wait, so I'm sure our patients will be rewarded with a more in-depth spec and date of availability soon. Now, I for one am pleased to see Moto Guzzi add another model to their lineup, and again, are fusing new era design and technology into their unique Guzzi ways much like when the V85 TT was released. Overall, I couldn't think of a better way to mark 100 years in the business. What do you think though? Are you as impressed as us or are you not really that interested? You know what to do, drop a comment below. Make sure to leave a like rating and remember to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of our future content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.